Hi, Scott here from Pimp My PS3 with another tutorial video for you. This one here is going to be the um, newer style 40 gig, 80 gig, 120 gig, 160 gig, so on and so forth. Um, anything with the black power supply. We already made it up to this far in the previous video for the disassembly where we actually took the Blu ray drive out and we took the power supply out. See the previous video for any locations on screws or anything like that. I'm going to take that out now. Okay. Now what we have here is the strip down case. And uh, I'm going to show you how to remove the motherboard in this video. I had a request for this. And uh, it's taken me a few days to get to it. But I told you I would do it. And I'm going to do it. Okay. There are seven screws that are necessary to be removed, including the power supply ground wire. Once you have those seven screws out, you're going to take the power plug, power supply plug, put that to the side. There's a fan plug right here. You're going to remove the fan plug. The fan actually stays in the lower half of the case on this one. I think this is where you're having the problem where you can't get the board out. You, remo you removed all the screws, but you didn't remove these clamp screws. You're going to take out the four screws on the clamps. And yes, you're going to have to replace your heat sink compound. So, if you're going to be doing this so that you can get in underneath there and clean it out, stop by your local radio shack. They have um, the heat sink compound. Um, don't go cheap on the heat sink compound. It's about ten dollars for a tube of Arctic Silver Five heat sink compound. It's one of the best compounds out there, and uh, I recommend using it. And that's what I use in all my systems. I'm gonna give it a little pry down in the hole against the board and the heat sink to break them apart. And there we go. Okay, and that's the problem that you were having, I believe, that you didn't remove the heat sink screws and break the heat sinks. As you can see there, they use the cheap white generic thermal paste. I would recommend replacing that. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, you know, take a scraper or something and collate this and scrape all the old stuff off. And then after you get all the old stuff off, you're going to take a clean cotton cloth or a sock or a t-shirt or something and some rubbing alcohol and you're going to clean up the surface of the chip really good and you're going to do the same thing with these heat sinks you're going to scrape all the old stuff off with a razor or something flat just to get the excess off and then you use the cotton and rubbing alcohol to clean them up okay down here you know, three four screws actually you can't get to them under the board you have to actually break these Heat sink compounds. Oops. Okay, that'll be the end of this tutorial video for you. Um, I'll do another video in the near future on how to break down the cage. Pretty simple, but we'll go over that in another video. Thank you for watching, and visit Pimp My PS3 for all your PS3 needs, parts, supplies. Customization.